Now, for the top story tonight, the radical left is on fire. The mayor of Salt Lake City wants you to hear this. We are here today to say to a mostly complacent, complicit, incredibly irresponsible Congress, impeach these men who have betrayed and harmed us all. We are here to say no more. All right, joining us now from Utah is the mayor of Salt Lake City, Rocky Anderson. So you want to impeach President Bush and Vice President Cheney and I guess everybody else in there. Um, okay. No, actually, you want the House of Representatives to stand up for our Constitution, for the rule of law. All right. But there's got to be a crime in order power, to impeach anybody. And impeach the president and the vice president. Yeah, but there's got to be a crime in order to impeach anybody. So. No, I'm sorry. You don't know your constitutional history, Bill. There doesn't have to be a crime at all. The, the whole idea behind the term high crimes and misdemeanors in the Constitution, it's about political crimes. It's about abuses of power, breaches of trust. It's about misleading the Congress and the American people. There has to be a all demonstrable, the with all due respect, Mayor, I think I know more than you do I'm about so, American history and the Constitution. There has to be a demonstrable... Well, apparently you don't from what you just well, said, Bill Riley. Apparently, and I, apparently you know, you're going to keep quiet and let me say something and then you can respond. Well, I all think right? I was responding to your question. You are, and you, you got your point across. Me. Now, you have to have a demonstrable action by the president or vice president, which is a high crime or misdemeanor, that shows right. that they violated, not a criminal that act, they violated like the Constitution. You just criticized the New York Times for misstating the facts. You are misstating constitutional history. Okay. And you I, don't I know what you're talking you about. Misleading. You are. You don't know what you're talking about because you know, abuse of you power can be interpreted you ever in a million different ways. Answer a question, not if you're in, not if you're foolish and you're taking up the viewers' time. You're foolish. There isn't one Bill person in the United States Congress ashamed. that is going to back you. Not one. You're foolish Let me tell you. and you're subverting we, your own country. Have, subverting your own the, country. That's what you're doing. Did you you are an irresponsible so you public servant. Talk. You're an irresponsible person. You don't know you what you're know talking you're about. There, Bill. there isn't one congressperson who will introduce an article of impeachment. You can't get anybody to do it because they know do you're you, a kook. That's why. You just have guests on your program so you can hear yourself talk. Go ahead, Mayor. You know, where I'm from, we ask people questions. We give them the courtesy of answering without being interrupted. It depends how kooky you are. I'm not going to let you, know, you we also say something to, that's to, totally insane like you're this saying. This is classic Bill, isn't it, that you, you invite guests on to call them names. I love my country. I love our Constitution. I believe very strongly in the rule of law. Yeah, well, your and interpretation of the Constitution is kooky. That's what you it is. Let me know when you're finished. You, you right, want I am to, finished. I want to move along. You let I just me know want to move along finished. here. And you're right. going to stop calling people names. I didn't call you a name. I said your interpretation in of the Constitution dialogue. is kooky, and it is. Now really? you are the former well, president. I, you tell me. You, you are tell the me former what president. Hey, you want to talk? Is. I want to get another question in. You're the former president of the American Civil Liberties Union of Utah, correct? I am. Okay. You are Proud a board because member. Because I believe in our Constitution. I know you do. You are the board. You're a board member of Planned Parenthood. Uh, you blog for a far left uh, daily cost deal. You what? asked the Daily Coast, do you blog for them? Oh, we've posted some of our uh, speeches on okay. the Daily Coast, yes. Far left website. You have testified well, you know, do you, you, you why have testified do you have in front of the world. Because I want people to know who you are. Left. I want people Cookie to know who the mayor left. of Salt Lake City is. Bill, you know what? You, you do not advance the dialogue on these important issues facing our country. Iran, do you feel Iran is a danger to the USA? I do, especially given our provocations. I think that the, what we have done in the Middle East, we have been our worst enemy. We're creating more and more enemies every single day. So there we was provoked no justification. Iran? We provoked them? Absolutely. We, look at what we did in Iraq. We had no business invading and occupying a Muslim country. All right. We do you feel have that played Iran... into Osama bin Laden's hands in just okay, unbelievable Okay, and, and that's legitimate. I, I'll, I'll surprise you. The Iraq okay. the debate is legitimate. Now, Iran, you feel that we provoke them. Do you feel that they are a sponsor, a state sponsor of terrorism, Iran? I, I think that they've engaged in, in terroristic acts and probably sponsoring terrorism. But, Bill, 
I think that we need to engage in dialogue. Okay, so do I. With, with I'll chat with them all nations. day long. Do you believe that we should allow well, Iran to president. get a nuclear weapon? No, absolutely not. Would you go to war over that? Uh, if they were building a nuclear weapon, I think they have to be stopped. Militarily. But I, but, but I think that we need Militarily? to be consistent. Would you go I to war that over they, that? If they were building a nuclear capability, but, you know, I think that we need to know that it's good intelligence. I'm not going to believe President Bush on that score anymore after he misled this entire nation. All right, so you'd have to Congress see the nuke. Iran, you'd have to see the nuke yourself. Building a nuclear capability. You'd have to see the nuke well, yourself. Are you going to believe President Bush when he tells you that Iran yeah, is building a nuclear Yeah, I, 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 don't I, I don't think the president is a liar like you do. I don't. Okay, well, that's just my it, opinion. Well, and I know okay, I'm ill-informed. Well, I'm not as smart as you, no, but well, that's what have I you seen? Have you seen the national intelligence estimate that was provided in October of 2002 in which the intelligence agency under the State Department said that Iraq was not building up a nuclear capability, that this whole story about the aluminum tubes was completely off base. We had William Cohen, Secretary of Defense, on here under President Clinton. He believed, and so did President Clinton, that Saddam had weapons of mass destruction. Mayor, very instructive. Well, we appreciate you coming on a program. And we got to go because it's only an hour really program. Bill. I know I am. I appreciate it.